Hello everyone, welcome back to Philip Cooks. Just kidding, we're not gonna be cooking today, we're gonna be cleaning airbrushes in our newest video. This is part two of our airbrushing series, so you can check out our previous video if you like. If you're new here and you've learned something from this video, please consider liking and subscribing. If you're returning, also consider liking and subscribing, that way you don't miss any of our new content. Let's get started. So this airbrush has the black paint in it. Um, this is one of my favorite airbrushes here, these Iwatas. But anyway, uh, so we're gonna turn on some water and um, we're gonna rinse out our color cup. Now keep in mind this cleaning method is for acrylic paints. So if you have different types of paints, such as enamels or lacquers, you'll need a different thinner to properly clean your airbrush. So I'm using my thumb here to get the, um, the paint out. Um, and if you do a good job here, you don't need any other like rags or any of that kind of a thing. So, um, so now that we have got that all cleared out of there, you can see we have a nice clean color cup in the inside. Now, one thing I will note is, is that paint is really bad on things. So you probably wanna make sure that you rinse out your sink real well so that you don't stain your sink with paint. And you can't really see, but there is a little bit of paint up here, a top up here, so make sure we get that so that uh, the wife doesn't get upset about paint in her sink. Now, I'll always keep one of these little screens around. These screens can be picked up at uh, Publix, at Walmart, at Target. They're actually designed to go in your sink here so that if you manage to drop any of your airbrush parts, you don't lose them down the drain. So we'll twist off our little cap here and we'll twist off the secondary cap. And then hiding underneath here is a little tip. You can see this little tip right here. So that little tip is what we're, is one of the things we're worried about losing. This airbrush is the one that has the largest tip in it of all of them I have. Um, the other ones are quite a bit smaller. Some of them even require a tool to remove them. So we'll make sure that we keep up with this little tip here and all of our airbrush parts. We're just gonna set them down here in the corner of our, of our sink. We'll thread off our end cap here and undo our chuck. Now, you're gonna have a tendency to pull this chuck down out of your airbrush and that would be a mistake because all this paint that's up here on top, you'll pull through your airbrush. So instead you wanna push this forward that way you pull all of your paint out of your airbrush instead of pulling it through. Now we'll rinse things back out again here. Now I don't like using things like pipe cleaners because the metal braid that's in the center can scratch up your surfaces and damage your airbrush. Now this is a dental cleaning thing. These are used to clean um, to clean braces and various things to get between your gum and your teeth. These are great because these won't damage the surfaces of your airbrush when we're talking about cleaning them. So now that everything is kind of rinsed out, you see that little bitty hole that's right here. I've never seen paint get in here, but I've always been very paranoid about it. So I do like to use these little cleaners to get down inside that little hole and then use it down inside of here as well, just to make sure that you got all of your paint out of your airbrush. Now we'll use that same um, tool inside of our tips. Just give these a quick little clean. Same thing on our shield here. And also in this little guy. Now on this little guy, we wanna pay really close attention. We wanna make sure this is really clean because this is very hard to get paint out once it's dried. So for acrylic paints, that's really about it. You're, you're really just rinsing out your paint. Um, when you have enamels, you're gonna need some more thinners and, um, and those, those type of things um, to really get those out of your airbrushes. So when you're airbrushing, I really would recommend using a acrylic paint and not an enamel or a lacquer paint because that's that, those uh, chemical cleaners. 
So when we reassemble this here, we're just gonna push this down. It doesn't need to be real tight. It doesn't need to be jammed in there. Same thing with the collet here, just a little thumb tight. It's just a little pressure. It doesn't take much. And, and you'll notice that that needle is moving back and forth. That's really all you need it to do is to move that needle. Thread these back in. Thread on your tip. And you move on to the next airbrush. Now, if you're going to be cleaning a lot of airbrushes um, over a long period of time, you might consider something like this ultrasonic cleaner here. These, you can put some alcohol in um, and turn it on. It'll actually send vibrations through your airbrush and clean up a lot of your dried up paints. And if you're like me and you have a lot of airbrushes, I would recommend getting one of these little K-cup, uh, custom K-cup things that you put in like a Keurig. You can put all of your individual parts and pieces in here, so that way you don't have to worry about mixing up what parts go with what airbrush. Well guys, you made it through another video. Thank you very much for watching this video. And in the next video, we'll be talking more about actual airbrushing and some tips and tricks on how to get some pretty cool results with pretty good ease. So please consider liking and subscribing so you don't miss that new video. We'll see you in the next one.